So, three games, three wins. It's been a great tour of the United States for Arna Slot as Liverpool finished with that convincing 3-0 win over Manchester United. For Manchester United, there are more injury concerns ahead of the Community Shield next Saturday. Well, here's how the match played out. Liverpool took the lead inside 10 minutes after a clever turn and finish from Fabio Cavallio. Uh, then Mohamed Salah crossed for Curtis Jones to make it 2-0 before half-time. After the break, Kostas Simakas scored Liverpool's third, reacting quickest to Andre Anana's save to score the rebound. It means Liverpool have beaten Real Betis, Arsenal and now United on their pre-season tour. As for United, their tour ends in defeat, but Eric Ten Hag is taking the positives. They took, um, Liverpool, uh, they played well, and they took the chances, and we also, as you say, we created also uh, good chances, but we didn't take them. And yeah, we need to be more clinical and efficient. But what's pleasing, uh, we played against Betis, we scored three goals. Uh, today we create uh, many chances, so I would uh, be concerned. Can I maybe finish my question? Huh? I would be concerned huh, if we didn't create chances. So I'm pleased with the way we create chances out of open play, but also from good pressing situations or counter press situations. Well, Arna Slot and Liverpool didn't speak to the media after the game, but he did give quotes to the club saying this. We saw some great goals during this tour, some great build-up situations, and I see them working really, really hard not to concede. Like I said, today I think we gave away too many chances. United deserve more than a 3-0 loss, but it's all also our quality uh, that we do score our own chances. With Lenny Yoro out for up to three months with injury, Manchester United were also without Harry Maguire last night as a precaution, while Johnny Evans was substituted at half-time with illness. Aaron Wan-Bissaka also came off with a knock, so could this force United to push forward with their pursuit of Matthias De Ligt or Nusia Masarai? We're always looking, um, and especially we have seen this new leadership team uh, is, is really eager uh, to do business, uh, to make deals, and they are, they are on it, but yeah, if the timing is there, we have to wait. If the opportunities are there, um, I don't know, I can't say in this moment, but I'm sure when they are there, uh, they, they will go forward. So that's it. The pre-season tours for Manchester United and Liverpool are over. And the two teams get back on their flights from South Carolina feeling two very different ways. Let's start with Manchester United because their season starts next weekend in the Community Shield against Manchester City. Eric Ten Hag telling us after the game, look, there are positives to take, even though they just lost 3-0 to Liverpool. And at times, I think it's fair to say we saw some of the bad traits that sort of doomed Manchester United's season at times during the game against Liverpool tonight. We saw the likes of Casemiro, who started in centre midfield, ended the game at centre-back because of defensive issues. Again, Lindelof, Evans both came off at half-time. Harry Maguire left out as a precaution. Casemiro, as the game went on and he did play the full 90, gave the ball away. And that's indicative of United's sluggish second half. First half, they were bright, though. Marcus Rashford, especially considering he was a doubt for the game with a foot injury, was probably United's brightest player. But again, players like Anthony and Sancho, not really looking at their sharpest. And it was that match sharpness that Eric Ten Hag says that United are missing right now. And remember, their season starts in less than a week. As for Liverpool, they will be flying back home feeling very, very happy. Three wins in three games with just one goal conceded. And tonight, three goals against their biggest and oldest rivals. So... What has worked well for them? Well, they've got plenty of players now chomping at the bit, trying to show Arna Slot that they, they should be in his team. But the main thing is that Mohamed Salah is back to his sharpest best. The first two goals came from his endeavour in the final third. The second goal, especially a lovely run and cross for Curtis Jones to tap home. Jones, one of the players that's impressed on this tour in a slightly deeper midfield as Arna Slot likes to play this double pivot. Harvey Elliott, another player who he said will play in a 10 position for Liverpool, was also impressed, as has Fabio Carvalho, a player who we're all going to be thinking, is he going to go out on loan or potentially be sold during this window? Well, he couldn't have really done much more scoring again tonight. Arna Slot has decisions to make when it comes to his first team now, when the likes of Virgil van Dijk and Trent Alexander-Arnold come back. But squad players have impressed. Conor Bradley, Costa Simicas, another couple of players that have put their hand up to say, we are ready 
to be picked. Only one Liverpool injury from this tour, and that was a player coming in with a knock in Andy Robertson. They go back in form, they go back in relatively good shape, unlike Manchester United, who are missing key players, like to Rasmus Hoyland, obviously, and Lenny Ore both got injured on this trip. Will Fish came off on a stretcher tonight as well, so another defender down. Aaron Wambasaka got a knock as well. Obviously, we all want to know what's going to go on with him, whether he's going to go to West Ham United. So many question marks around this Manchester United team. And Eric Ten Hag admits he isn't sure, but he knows the new ownership group are keen to spend in this window. Watch this space.